It's week one of the NFL, where division rivals will clash in the NFC West. It's the Aviators and the Huskies. All that and more coming up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today, we start the new year with an NFC matchup out west, as it'll be the Aviators of Honolulu taking on the Huskies of Anchorage. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, there's nothing quite like it. That feeling of beginning another NFL season, and these two squads, they're going to do just that in a moment. And what makes it so exciting is the range of possibilities these teams have before them, because we could be seeing one of these teams earn the Lombardi Trophy in February, while the other, they could earn the number one draft pick in April, or anything in between. And we've got the best seed in the house every step of the way. season of NFL football is here and we're off in 2023 on EA Sports. This taken in right around the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They're brought out by a man now in his 15th NFL season. One of the most productive passers in league history and a former Super Bowl champion Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick throughout his career. He's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. And from the 34, here's second and four. Stafford now to throw. Open man is Atwell, complete. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays. Picks up the first. Stafford. Trying to find Cup, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Jamal Adams. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. Offensively, a far from ideal start there with a pick on the opening drive. Yeah, not exactly what they were looking for. We know that. That's pretty obvious. The beauty, though, is it's happening early. If they don't panic, they don't compound this problem, they've got a long way to go and a chance to get back in it. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And they're led out by their mobile quarterback out of West Virginia. It's Geno Smith. As I remember back in 2013 when he was drafted out of West Virginia, he was coming off a of back-to-back 4,000-yard seasons for the Mountaineers. Hadn't seen as much game time in recent years, but at one point, a capable starter in the NFL. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort from the 44-yard line. Here's second down and five. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Third and four. Smith. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got man complete. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Calling a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Smith now to throw. And that is incomplete. Now the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. To throw is Smith. It's caught. Lock it. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Again, Smith. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. 
Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Here's second and ten. Now it's Smith off the bootleg. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. Now Smith. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Jason Myers on for the field goal. A 26-yard attempt. Myers' kick is good, and that'll make it 3-0 here in the first. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. And we got a few for 2023. A lot are procedural, having to do with deadlines and roster construction and such. But the two kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. And I really wanted the special teams coach to be a little bit more involved. I do understand why the league is doing it. They believe it promotes safety, and it's hard to argue against that. What about, this is the other one, guys can now wear the number zero. We've already seen some make the switch. Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Swift, Braxton Berrios, amongst others. Yeah, and you know something? When you see those guys make that move, I don't mind that at all, all right? A little more expressionism for these guys. I love it. I just think we didn't go far enough. What about double zero? like Jim Otto used to wear, or Kenny Burrow used to wear. He's got a man, complete! Down to the 10, touchdown! Cooper Cup, 84 yards! And the Aviators have answered that early field goal to take a first quarter lead. It took them a while to get their speedster involved, but they found him downfield there. And what we've discovered as we've watched games is the speedster doesn't have to have a lot of catches, doesn't have to have volume in order to have a huge impact on the game. His speed scares the heck out of defenses, and other guys can capitalize, but when you finally hit him and he carries it all the way into the end zone, that's what you're paying him for, that big threat that can make big plays on a limited number of catches. That's how you step on the stage with your first catch, take it to the house. Eskridge going to keep this one in the end zone, and they'll start at the 25-yard line. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. And Charles, nothing like squaring off with a division opponent, a division rival in week one. Do you like that they are matching up this early, or would you prefer a game like this be a few weeks down the road? I actually like the early matchup for a few reasons, Brandon. First of all, it allows you to see that in the entire offseason and know, hey, right out of the gate, we're playing a division game. Second part is it spreads them out a little bit. If you just have them all bunched up at the end of the year, that's not as much fun watching teams try to survive that gauntlet when you do have injuries down the stretch. And last but not least, let's face it, we're TV people. What a great game to sell right out of the gate. Walker now at first and 10. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Sticking with Walker on second down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Smith targeting the out route and he completes this to Metcalf and he'll be taken down but he does have first down yardage 
It's a nine yard gain and it'll keep the drive moving. Well, for years we thought Seattle was the Pacific Northwest. Not anymore. NFL football has arrived here in Anchorage. And folks in these parts are understandably beyond excited to see just what the future holds. Smith, a quick throw, but incomplete. Tyler Lockett was the target there, but it'll be second down. They'll fake the handoff. Now Smith. Catch is made by Metcalf. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 22 yards there, a first down. First down. First down at the 29 yard line. Off of play action. Here's Smith. Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Akello Witherspoon. And he returns it up just shy of the 20 to the 19-yard line. Well, look, we're watching a quarterback here that's obviously been around for a long time. That's a throw he wishes he had back. He certainly does, but as you well know, this is a guy that's used to taking a few chances, used to fitting it into tight windows. These are throws that he's made before. Didn't happen to get it completed in this case. But the Honolulu offense set to take over possession of the football. Well, certainly they'd rather have the scenario they had last time out, Charles. Remember, they had the short field. They took it in the end zone. Now this is going to have to be a longer, more sustained drive if they want to get points. Yeah, a little bit more of a quick strike opportunity last time by where they were on the field, and you're exactly right about that. But now, backed up a little bit. What's that old expression we love to use? Time to matriculate the ball down the field and try and do it again. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Knocked that down for a win in the defense's column. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Here now a third down at eight. Here's Stafford. Trying to find cup, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Devin Witherspoon. And the return comes to a halt right at the 44-yard line. Well, we saw plenty of that during his much-heralded college career, and he parlayed that into becoming a first-round selection. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools, but the thing that sets him apart is what he's got between his ears. And that's the sixth sense for knowing where the football is going. Just an excellent play there to create the turnover. After the interception, here's Smith. And that one to the right side and incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. This complete to lock it. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Throwing on third down, Smith. That is caught. Touchdown! Jackson Smith and Jim Bell. His first NFL reception goes for six. And the Huskies have retaken the lead. So we just witnessed touchdown number one for the Rook, and certainly that's a football he's going to want for the trophy case. Yeah, this is one that you don't spike, right? This is one you don't throw to your teammate and let them celebrate. This is one you keep for yourself, take it over to the equipment staff and have them mark it up, put it away, and then you get it later on. And as you said, mount it in your trophy case. Fantastic. Hopefully the first of many. Myers connects on the PAT, and the lead is now 10-7. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. For the Honolulu offense set to take over possession of the football. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception of the ball game, so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. 
and to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened. On Stafford for the third time is intercepted. Picked by Julian Love. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. Now, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you throw in this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Up the middle they run, it's Walker. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Second and 10 at the 32-yard line. Play action, it's Smith. And a quick throw here, that's complete. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else, and now it's third and 10. Now right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. From the gun on third down, Smith. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. His fourth catch already in this first quarter. It's a first down. Ten seven, our score after one, right here on EA Sports. Second quarter down, it's our home team with possession, as they've got it with a first and ten. Now a play fake, and it's Smith. This is Fant on the short completion, and he'll be taken down at the twenty after a gain of just one. And now it looks like we're going to get a timeout here. We've got a man shaken up. Well, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one, just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. Throwing now is Gino. This one goes underneath to Walker. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll be faced with a third and inches. They'll try for the first with Walker. Stiff arm there. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five of the four. It goes as a gain of eight and moves the chains. Didn't get to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short, definitely was a great time to dial one up. And they'll let the fullback try and take him home. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. They've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the end zone here on second and goal? Walker is not going to advance very far. He'll be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Now Smith on third and goal. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Akello Witherspoon. And the defense, Charles, they bit a little bit, but they did not break. And then on third and goal there, the huge interception. I'm thinking the momentum they're carrying with them right now, Brandon, because in their mind, whether they want to admit it or not, they were conceding three points. Their goal was to keep them out of the end zone, not give up a touchdown. Instead, they give up nothing. What a big-time play and a big-time stop by them. And the Honolulu offense set to take over possession of the football. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And a second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And a smart play there. He's probably saying, I wish I would have done that on the last drive instead of throwing the interception. Throwing on third down, Stafford. And that one too. 
too wide and incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part to get them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football and now zapped right back in the other direction. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. That's to the sideline and incomplete. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Throwing is Smith. And for the third time here this half, it's intercepted. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Three first-half interceptions now, and Charles, you'd have to think a fair amount of concern is developing over there on that sideline. And there should be, because essentially, he's been a little loose and possibly reckless with the football here in the first half. Now, maybe it's not all on him, but still, three interceptions, that puts the entire team in jeopardy. So, the play caller from here on out, got to design some throws for him that he can complete, keep it away from the defense, and try and get him back on track. After the interception, here's Stafford. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Martin, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting to 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Throwing is Stafford. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. The kick by Maher is good, and that will knot us up at 10. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, their offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. Here's the Anchorage offense back out now. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you, an interception's result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. To throw on second down is Smith. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Ernest Jones. And they're already in the red zone. The 18-yard line is where they take over. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. On first and 10, Stafford. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And to put it mildly, this is a tough spot defensively. They have to come right back out and defend their red zone. But how about that good first step towards forcing them to settle for at least three points? I think they're also thinking bigger right now. Imagine being able to stop them totally and change the momentum. Another 
throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Now Stafford. And they're going to get him. He sank back around the 28. Eugene and Wosu got the sack there. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Now Brett Maher for the field goal try. He made his first attempt, this from 45. The kick by Marr is good, and they will take the lead at 13 to 10. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say, we should have done better there. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. Out comes Anchorage to take over offensively. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. Ed one tell me once, you know, we were having a tough patch. This two shall pass, this two shall pass, and if I we kept having a rough patch, he said, but you got to do something <laughs> up. to make it pass. And that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. This one incomplete and over everybody. Looked like a clear throwaway, but the officials, they're going to say there's a receiver over there in the area, so no flags, and it's third down. And my goodness, another interception. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. And I'm starting to wonder, Charles, if five interceptions, is that the last that we've seen of him? Well, I think that a lot of people hope that's the last they've seen of him in this game, probably including himself. If this were baseball, the manager would have been at the mound already and asked for the ball, and he'd be in there getting a shower. But in football, you might have to go stand on the sideline and watch the rest of it and see if your backup can do any better. Off the draw, here's Williams. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. Going to take this to about the 10-yard line. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Here's Stafford. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. And a defensive-minded coach loves to turn up the heat, turns it up there, it pays off. And back in the good old days, those defensive-minded coaches just talked about intimidating teams, using force, right, beating them to the punch. In this case, they're talking about creating turnovers. That's all they preach all game long, all practice long, every meeting, get the football. That's what they want. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Finding Rocket for the catch here on the out route. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. First and 10 at the 34 yard line. They'll fake it. Now Smith. Under pressure, and down he goes. Byron Young, that is one that he will remember. His first career sack in his first career game in the National Football League. One thing that I liked about this guy during the draft process was his motor. Of course, I loved his skills, but he plays hard on every down. And that motor on full display there as he gets his first NFL sack. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Now Gino. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Gino now to throw. Setting up the screen here. This is Walker. 
And he's brought down, but not before a really nice stiff arm to create a little space. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. On fourth down, ready to punt Michael Dixon. This is brought in at the 21. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Honolulu offense set to take over possession of the football. And so close to hitting pay dirt last time. Fumbling down near the goal line. Now, how does that affect their psyche this time? It's a tester, that's for sure, because to be that close and come up with no points is really disappointing, not just for the guys on offense, but the defensive players, too, who thought, hey, we're going to put some points up. Well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And a huge play that time. 41 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So now then, the big play has them all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Stafford. Throw left side, complete to Cup. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Second and a couple. Throwing again at Stafford. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Back to throw, Stafford. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's brought down. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Williams, touchdown. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one-yard line, and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Mar on for the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. A drive that time of six plays. And it was capped off by the Kyron Williams touchdown run. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Here's the Anchorage offense back out now. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Ernest Jones there for the tackle. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Here's second and seven. From the gun, here's Smith. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. On third down, here's Walker. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And it's fielded at the 34. Here's Kyron Williams running out for another possession. It's the second quarter. His team has the lead, but I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going, but we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to halftime to make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series. That's where those surface tablets come into play. Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. Two yards to go, second down. 
Stafford now to throw. Finding Williams once more, complete. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Now this offense in midseason form here in the opener. It's first and 10. From the 50 at Stafford. He'll drop this down to Williams. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. From the 44 now, here's second and four. Out of the gun, Stafford. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. There's a quarterback who's learned his lesson. He's thrown a few interceptions so far. That time he said, I'm making sure nobody catches this one. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Coming out of the end zone, D. Eskridge. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. And this offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Smith. In trouble, and he's taken down. Aaron Donald in there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Throwing now is Geno. Throw out wide to Walker. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one goes for 30 yards. 
Well, that was a pretty good time for his first catch of the ball game, and it turned into a huge play as well. He's certainly not been a central part of this passing game so far in this one, but he made his presence felt there. A big pickup on third down. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. On oh, the option, it's Smith himself. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. Well, that's what he can do when he keeps the football. It's not a huge gain, but it shows how hard it can be to stop him. Yeah, and I thought the defense had that one pretty well contained. And in fact, they probably came up and felt pretty good about what they did. Then they looked up and realized he still got good yardage out of it. He's a tough guy to stop. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And Walker once more. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. Smith on first down. He'll get that complete to Parkinson. The result only four yards there on the play, and it's second down. Second and six at the 22 yard line. Straight ahead, Walker. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. A shotgun snap for Smith. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Must get the ball back for us. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Stafford on first down. Now that'll be caught by Cup. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. A gain of two brings up second and eight at the 22-yard line. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A gain of 13, it's a first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They give it to Williams, running right. Get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Now second and three. They'll fake it. Now Stafford. Pass complete there to Nakua. And he's got this down to the 35. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Now Stafford. And that one complete downfield to Cup. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Give him 30 yards there. Well, as my dad would say sometimes, I'm just scratching my head here trying to figure out what was going on there defensively. How did you lose him in the middle of the field? If you're going to lose a receiver, make sure it's someone on the short side of things, not deep downfield, that can hurt your defense.
They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg to the end zone, but it's incomplete. And now we're going to get a stoppage as, yeah, that looks like Jackson who's shaken up. While the medical staff checks on him, we'll step aside in this week one contest. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. Now Stafford. Touchdown! Puka Nakua with his first career touchdown in his first career game. And the Aviators have taken a two touchdown lead now. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This fielded right at the goal line. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. Here's the Anchorage offense back out now. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Second down and three. Play action. It's Smith. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, so many times defensive backs get caught playing the man rather than the football, but not in this case. That's an excellent play. Did exactly what you're supposed to do. Attack the football and help break up the pass. Yep, as a result, knocks it down. Yeah, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Now here's Michael Dixon as he's on here to punt it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. The Honolulu offense set to take over possession of the football. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? First throw now for the backup wins. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Julian Love picks it, and his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. So a potential momentum shifter there, working with a two-score lead, third quarter, but that, not the smartest of throws. I would agree with you on that one because this game is still very much in the balance. It felt pretty one-sided to this point, but now if these guys can turn this turnover into points, things could start getting a little more interesting. After the interception, here's Smith. Left side here, taken in by Metcalf. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. To the right side, this is Walker. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, 
those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they will just roam and hit. It'll be first and goal when we come back. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Out of the gun, Smith. And it's caught. Touchdown. Kobe Parkinson. Touchdown reception. And the Huskies have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. First and goal. Forget running the football. Forget establishing anything. Just put it in the end zone with the pass for a touchdown. Oh, yeah. I guess that's the definition of catching the defense off guard there. They weren't expecting that. And that totally goes against type, doesn't it? When you think first and goal from the one, you're thinking running play. Extra point up and through by Myers. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Get a look at this offense led by Cooper Cup as they make their way back onto the field. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. Winston's throw here, hauled in by Cup. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. The offense on third down tonight, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. They're looking at third and a few inches. From the gun, it's a run for Freeman. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. This is second and eight. Working from the gun, Wentz. Open man is Atwell, complete. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll leave them with a third and two. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Back to the running game, it's Freeman. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Brandon, unfortunately, I've been here before. They've had two opportunities to stop them, so this is demoralizing. They haven't gotten it done. Now you're calling all your blitzes, all your attack defenses, but you're not worried about playing your normal position. You're going to take chances now. Well, you said it. Two third down opportunities to get off the field. Couldn't do it, and the clock continues to roll. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and nine. To throw, it's Wentz. He'll get this one complete to Atwell. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation, give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. Well, some good games around the league here early in week one, and this one shaping up to be as good as any of them as we come up on a first and ten. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. And he'll be brought down at about the 25 after a pickup of four. 
That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. The hook up on the right side to Hopkins. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Short completion, just four yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to make it a two-score game. Marr able to put this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. They had not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. At the 26-yard line. Now it's Smith. He lets it fly for Lockett. And he's just throwing the ball up for grabs now. Fortunately, that one going to fall incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Out of the gun, Walker with it. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Look, all any running back wants is a little bit of room, a little bit of space in order to maneuver. But he also understands how difficult it is for his offensive line up front. So if they give him any space, he realizes his job to make more out of it than what they give him. Picks up three on that carry. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw is Smith. Pressure from his right, and he goes down hard, flat on his back. Aaron Donald able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Well, this has to count as a great team effort today, but this man, he's been at the center of all of it. Really special day for any defense to have this many sacks in a game, even more so for this player. One of the best individual efforts of the season. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. Pete Carroll rolled the dice, but it didn't work out. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now really hoping for a turnover. Wins to throw on second down. Can't get away, and he's taken down. Multiple defenders getting home there for a loss of 11. I think you saw the same thing that I did there, partner. Remember, he's their backup quarterback, so the last thing they need is to lose another one right here on the sack. Looks like he's going to be okay, though. Yeah, he looked like he was favoring something in the left leg. Appears to be fine now, but you're right. That O-line, they got to protect him. Under four to play now. Clock running, third down. On the draw, this will be Freeman. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. And they bring their punter out there now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Out comes Anchorage to take over offensively. 
Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Left side complete to lock it. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. It's a pickup of three. On second down, here's Smith. Short throw to Disley. It'll go as a gain of four. And now we've got a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Smith on third down. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Again, Smith. Repeated the last play, finding Walker. And he'll get maybe a couple before he's taken down as that will take us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. Second down, eight yards to go. Up the middle, here's Walker. And at the 42-yard line here and brought down there. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. Gino is going to get this complete to Walker. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Smith. Targeting the out route, and he completes this to Metcalf. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. Here's first down. Smith to throw. And complete to Smith and Jigba. Holding offense. So the road a little tougher here. Now first and 20. Smith's going to throw it. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. And they'll come up now. This is second and long. Here's Smith. He hits his target, lock it. And he's taken down inside the 30. Hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Two timeouts remaining, but time is of the essence. Down two scores. It's first and ten. Short throw to Disley. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So a fourth quarter pick six here, and that one might put this game out of reach, CD. I don't agree with that, partner, and I know one thing, though. That team that just got the pick six, they're going to keep playing until this one's over. Better be careful. They're looking to get another one. Mar now to add the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. From the end zone, here comes Eskridge. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Out comes Anchorage to take over offensively. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. Short throw to Disley. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout 
as they get it with 26 seconds to go in the football game. Short throw to Disley. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Now Smith. I had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. But we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. So not just running into the punter, but roughing the punter. And I'm struggling with this one. You know, you're watching it, partner. Is it more the first rather than the latter? This is a tough one. Almost feels like he felt like he had to call it on that play. One last throw here for Smith. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. Picked off by Darren Hendrick. Well, this was not just the opener of a brand new season, but this was a division game here in week one. And to come through with a 1-0 start against a division opponent gives you a little something extra heading forward for the rest of the season. Yeah, let's pile it all into one game, right? Opening the season and you open within the division. You knew the motivation was going to be there on both sidelines. One just executed better and earned the win. So for Honolulu, hey, you get a win. You get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for Anchorage, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.